Welcome to a new episode of Azure Unblock. Today, we're going to talk about Azure Confidential Computing. So I'm here with uh, Stefano Tempesta to talk about Azure Confidential Computing. Hi, Stefano. Hey, Thomas. Hi, everybody. No, great to have you today. Um, so we're going to speak about something really interesting, and it sounds really cool. Uh, it is Azure Confidential Computing. So can you explain a little bit like what it is and why we should care about Azure Confidential Computing? Yeah, thanks uh, for having me, first of all. Uh, look, uh, uh, we all know the different state of our protection of data, data arrest, and data protected also in transit, right? But there is a, a third state that not many are familiar with, which is the protection of data when it is in use, in memory. Think for a moment. You have your data encrypted in, in your database or in your file system. Then you transfer it into your server or virtual machine containers, wherever it's running and it's been processed. At that moment, if someone takes a memory dump, they can actually see the data in clear. So confidential computing is about protecting that memory space with hardware-based encryption. Okay, that is that is awesome. That makes it very clear. Yeah, I would. We always have, as you said, we have obviously like encryption at rest, and when data is in transit, we can like encrypt obviously using HTTPS or VPN connections exactly. or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so confidential computing really helps us, like when data is actually processed and is in the memory. Um, this is this is super interesting. Uh, so what are the typical use cases and customers like using this? Like, I mean, obviously I, I personally would use it, but uh, I'm sure you have, you have even more interesting use cases to share. Yeah, so look, uh, the Azure Cloud obviously is uh, super secure, right? So we already have uh, very strong confidence in the security measures in uh, Azure. Uh, but this is uh, an extra level of protection, especially for organization uh, in the public, like government uh, or financial institutes, uh, healthcare. These are the typical uh, um, domains you know, where we see customers demanding, asking for confidential computing. Well, why? Simply because uh, this is extremely confidential data that they even don't want the cloud provider to have uh, access. I mean, I'm not saying obviously that Microsoft in this case will have access to customer data, but sometimes there is some telemetry or, or, that we take from uh, you know, uh, additional support or analytics uh, on on uh, customer data without even reading it. In this case, confidential computing prevent uh, even the cloud provider from accessing this data that is processed in this uh, black box. It's a trusted execution environment. is completely isolated with hardware encryption, as I mentioned, that no one can access, as I said, not even the, the cloud provider. No, this is interesting. I, I remember I had a conversation with one of like these large companies and what I remember exactly was this conversation um, that like Microsoft, obviously we have guard, we have stuff in place so we cannot really sure. access customer data, right? But um, these are also processes and, and all these boundaries. But um, even they had some regulations telling them this is not enough, right? They need to have an additional like a technology layer of protection um, to actually really protect that data. And so really like not even the, in, uh, in the cloud provider can access it or if there is a suspicious activity going on um, to access that. So confidential computing is, is, is great in that case and I'm uh, happy that we have that. Um, speaking of that, so obviously the next thing I'm really interested is about, this is obviously a great technology, but how can I use it? Like, is it an Azure service in general? Can I use it for different Azure services? Is it for virtual machines? Or how does, does Azure Confidential Computing actually like line up with, with Azure? Excellent question. Show me the show me the, the confidential computing, right? And uh, you know, it, it's actually easier than uh, um, than uh, what most of people think uh, it is uh, because to say oh do you have to do something special uh, well uh, yes and no uh, confidential computing is uh, 
hardware encryption. So it is based on a special CPUs by Intel uh, or a AMD, and they are available in uh, the Azure portal. So if you are after a confidential virtual machines or containers, uh, you can use uh, the normal tools that you normally use for provisioning infrastructure, in including PowerShell or uh, any other infrastructure as code tool. Uh, and provision your services. Uh, what's the difference? Well, you have to select uh, some specific families for uh, virtual machines that are based uh, on these uh, special CPUs that have uh, the extension for uh, encryption of data in use. Uh, everything is fully documented, obviously, in our docs. So just make sure that during the provisioning of a virtual machine or containers, which are based on AKS, so the traditional Azure Kubernetes services, you pick the specific uh, confidential service. Even SQL, SQL database in Azure, uh, as has a extension called uh, Always Encrypted with Secure Enclaves. It's such a big name just to say that this is a confidential database. So a special version of a SQL server, uh, no server, it's a managed service, so a SQL database in Azure with the always encrypted capability running inside a secure enclave. People will hear sometimes this uh, secure enclave uh, terminology. It's another way to say a trusted execution environment, which is uh, a memory space encrypted with uh, these special CPUs. So just go through the Azure portal and you will find all the confidential services already there. Okay, this is awesome. So I, I I can actually use it for past services like Azure SQL, for example. I can use there uh, the secure enclaves. But I can also um, like if I have applications uh, which I just simply install in a virtual machine or as you said, container. Um, I can actually just like without modifying the code, just by selecting the right virtual machine type, uh, I can actually take advantage of that. Is that is that correct? Correct. Is that right? Yes. Awesome. No, this is great. And I mean, we, we talk we talk from time to time, right? And you know, I'm a big hybrid guy. I'm always interested in see what we have in the hybrid space. So you talked about uh, Azure Confidential Computing in Azure, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but since we have a lot of customers also in hybrid cloud environments, so they need to run um, uh, applications and servers and and, and and others uh, stuff uh, in their own data center or at edge locations, um, how can we leverage or can we leverage Azure Confidential Computing there as well? So uh, the answer is uh, yes, but be careful. Uh, first of all, uh, running uh, confidential computing in general, it is possible even outside of Azure Cloud, as long as uh, the service provider is uh, part of the Confidential Computing Consortium. This is uh, a Linux foundation. Microsoft is one of the co-founders of this consortium, along with uh, Intel, uh, AMD, but there is also Google and a lot of other providers. And uh, if uh, the service is uh, under the, the, the sort of governance and guidelines of this consortium is a confidentialcomputing.io, the website, then yes, you are doing confidential computing. Uh, other cloud providers may not be uh, in the confidential computing consortium, so they are not offering confidential computing capabilities. <laughs> or they may have different ways of uh, protecting data, which is not uh, part of this uh, consortium. So this, this is one aspect that I typically recommend customers uh, keep an eye on this uh, because uh, everything in this consortium is uh, uh, of the official confidential computing. And also uh, is a sort of guarantee that uh, it, you know, the, the services are provided in uh, without a vendor lock-in, uh, with uh, open source frameworks. Uh, so it's sort of a guarantee that you're not tied you in uh, to provider technology. So first aspect to consider. And then there is the aspect of uh, uh, we can run confidential computing also at the edge. This can be IoT devices, Azure, confidential computing has also capability for running a confidential IoT. 
or it can be also on premises. It's not going to be in Azure, obviously, but as long as uh, the hardware support this uh, encryption at CPU level, you are running the, the protection that you need also on premises. Okay, that is pretty great that I not just can take advantage of like confidential computing in Azure, but also outside of Azure. And that also what I really think is important that it's not that you have any vendor lock-in by, by using sure. it, right? So. And that look, we cool. call it uh, Azure Confidential Computing because we offer obviously out of Azure. Uh, but the, the the market, the industry terminology is just confidential computing. And I said that there is the consortium uh, working and looking after it. So is more. It is a brand. Uh, it is uh, a, a standard. A bit like saying HTTPS. No one owns HTTPS, right? Uh, but there are obviously different uh, providers that offer the service. The same for confidential computing. No, that's great. Uh, but now this this covers really a very interesting uh, point here. Uh, so by that. Where do you see the future going of confidential computing and maybe also especially like Azure confidential computing? Can you tell us a little bit about what you see, where the industry is heading and where we are heading as Microsoft? Yeah, so look, uh, as I said, the consortium is setting a lot of uh, directions uh, and guidelines, best practices. Uh, um, the aspiration, the vision here is to create a confidential cloud where you don't have to bother about selecting a service that is confidential and another one that is not. Why we cannot have everything confidential? At the end, there is extra protection that will benefit anybody in any case. So the road ahead is a confidential cloud and edge, an end-to-end -end experience that where you are protected at any state of your data in uh, being uh, protected rest uh, in transit uh, and uh, when processed, when it is in memory. And look, the, the important thing to understand also is that you're not only protecting your data with confidential computing, you're also protecting your applications because uh, when it is in memory, it's not just data, it's also your application, your code that is running in a process, in a thread, uh, in memory. So if you have a uh, for example, a machine learning algorithm with a, a, a specific uh, algorithm that you want to protect, confidential computing will protect also your application from reverse engineering, for example. So that's where we are heading to. We are heading into making a confidential computing pervasive anywhere in cloud and edge capability. So you have a protection every day, 100% uh, with, uh, with no extra effort extra challenges i love that vision and i i absolutely i never thought of like having like also obviously applications protected like the application code um for your intellectual property right you also want to protect that basically you want to have everything protected and i i love where you see this this going that i have this end-to-end -end protection uh in terms of like a data address transit but then compute wise in the cloud, but also at the edge. So uh, really exciting times. And yeah, I hope this, it, it looks like, and I really think it's a good idea to have that become like at one point the standard, like just the, the default, basically how how we do things. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, is that true? So um, obviously now for people um, like me who are now interested in that and, and want to learn more, where do we go? Look, we have uh, plenty of documentation on uh, the Azure portal with uh, uh, instructions how to get started with uh, virtual machines, uh, containers on AKS, uh, SQL. Uh, we have also a confidential ledger, which is, uh, is super powerful because uh, you can protect the, your uh, transaction logs in an immutable ledger, keeping the confidentiality of your data as well. And uh, there are open source frameworks uh, for uh, different programming languages um, that for um, building confidential machine learning. So the offering is rich. Uh, the best way to start is really from the Azure Confidential Computing uh, uh, landing page on the Azure portal. It's super easy. Just search in your preferred uh, 
a search engine for Azure confidential computing and it will come up uh, at the top of the search result or go to the alias uh, to the URL aka.ms aka slash Azure CC for confidential computing. Job done. That's awesome. No, thank you very much. And again, I will definitely use Bing to, to find Azure confidential computing. And for everyone else, um, we obviously have the links in the description. So what I want to say, thank you, Stefano, uh, for your time today. Uh, that was really helpful. And I'm really looking forward to do more with Azure Confidential Computing. And for everyone watching, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks, Thomas. Thanks, everybody. Bye.